Bonjour, bolo, hello, hello. Welcome to the Storytelling Corner with Multiculturalism Works. We are going to have a wonderful time. Today we're going to read this amazing story written by Sandy Holman and illustrated by Leila Komitiani. The title is Grandpa. Is everything black bad? Let's go. It's dark, dark and scary in my bedroom at night. So I hide under the covers when dad turns out the light. I like watching TV, but sometimes I'm sad because most white things are good and most black things are bad. People wear the color black when somebody dies. They look very sad and have tears in their eyes. Grandpa, is everything black bad? Grandma says hide in a bush when a black cat walks by because they bring bad luck to those that they eye. Aunt Barbara says my skin is darker than most others and she calls me the black sheep of the family because I look different from my brothers. I saw a fire burning in the forest one day. It made the trees turn black and the animals run away. Grandpa is everything black bad. I think witches are scary, flying the brooms in crooked hat. They always look ugly and they always wear black. I like hitting baseballs with my friends, Ronnie and Ty. One day, a ball hits Jasmine's face and she got a black eye. Black widow spiders are dangerous and quick. They have poison in the bites that can make people sick. Tell me, Grandpa, is everything black bad? I'm black, so does that make me bad too? Mm, I can I can understand the way you feel, Moncho. Grandpa I never stopped to think about all the things in this world that are the color black that seem bad. Maybe that's why so many children are ashamed of the beautiful dark skin. You youngins think all dark things must be no good. So it's true, huh, Grandpa? Everything black is bad? Moncho whispered sadly. Now you wait just a minute, little man. You ain't bad, and neither is the color black. You just get that kind of thinking out of your head. It's folks who decide what colors mean to them. Why? I love the color black and think it's one of the most beautiful colors in the world, Grandpa said firmly. You do, Grandpa? Moncho asked, surprised. Yep, I do, little man. Almost as much as you love grandma's gumbo soup. You see, Moncho, it earned the color of someone's skin that makes them good or bad. It's what's inside their hearts that count. The more you love, the more love you give from your heart, the better you are as a person, no matter what people say or do. You understand? Moncho nodded. You also have something else inside you that is very important. I do, Moncho asked curiously. Yep, you do, little man. You have heritage. A very, very proud heritage. Heritage? Moncho wondered, wrinkling his face. What's heritage mean, Grandpa? A heritage is our past. It's where we come from. It's the traditions and the things that are important to us 
and our family who lived long before us. Our heritage is African, Moncho. African, Moncho said loudly. I'm not African. I don't live in Africa. No, but our ancestors did live in Africa a long time ago. And the spirit of Africa is within us no matter where we live. Africa is also where a lot of important things happen that helped people all over the world. Even today, you and I still have African blood in our bodies. That's why we look like the black Africans who still live there. So why does everyone call me black then? Why don't they call me African? Hmm. I don't know, Moncho. Black folks have been called so many different names over time that maybe people aren't sure what we should be called anymore. Some folks say we should be called one thing, and some say we should be called another. All grandpa knows is that us, grown-up folk, got to be careful what we let our young ones be called especially if it makes them feel bad. We also have to teach you all about your heritage. What do you like people to call you, Grandpa? Why, that's simple, little man. They can start by calling me by the name my mama gave me when I was born. Rufus. Rufus. I didn't know your name was Rufus. Moncho said, tickled. That's because to you, I'm just an old grandpa. If someone calls you black, do you feel bad, grandpa? No, Moncho, I don't. You see, when I was a young one, just like you, my grandfather taught me about our African heritage and our history. He gave me a special bamboo drum, and as he played it, he told me stories from our past. Those stories made me feel mighty proud of my African heritage and the dark color of my skin. Could you play the drum for me now, Grandpa? Moncho yelled excitedly. Could you please? The old man looked into Moncho's big black eyes and smiled. He took Moncho by the hand into a special room in the back of the house. The room was beautiful, flowing with colors of black, gold, purple, red, and green. Beautiful African scenes were painted on the walls and masks and pots were lying on the floor. It looks like an African kingdom with a straw hut inside. Within the hut was a large red bamboo drum. It looked magical. Moncho's grandpa sat him on the floor and began to slowly beat the drum with his large hands. Close your eyes. Close your eyes, little man, grandpa whispered. Feel the love you have in your heart as I play. Listen, and you will see pictures in your head as the drum tells you a story about our heritage and history. Moncho closed his eyes and listened as his grandpa beat the drum. After some time, the drum beat sounded like voices to Moncho. Boom! 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 Did you like what you heard so far? There is more to the story. Look up. Grandpa is everything back bad. It is a wonderful book to read with the whole family. You can buy it at Multiculturalism Rocks and in your local bookstore. Thank you. <laughs>